Define ribald. I think it means something like body, like uh, dirty, perverted, uh, inappropriate, all these things that I aim to be. Say something that sounds dirty but isn't. How's your head today? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, okay, and now... Um, I'd really please... like you to just open up for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just decided, well, Regina and I sort of decided, shall we just squeeze one in beforehand? Um, and she's away, so she couldn't really do very much. So, well, I could do one, I'm sure thinking. As an Englishman, I like to beat. And what I really like to beat, really hard, is my bow rock. <laughs> What can people expect from you on August 19th? You know, it's about me exploring a new sexual side of me and, you know, discovering that after an eight year breakup is a great way to deal with the pain. <laughs> My story is about a girl and her love of sausage. So I'm sort of talking about how I, I talked about sex very badly and, you know, bought underwear and then we had to have sex. And, you know, that's that's basically the story. And it's straight sex, which I'm really good at. So that's what you're going to get when it comes to the ribaldry. It's going to be a very clownish kind of ribaldry, it, but it'll be very anatomically correct because I was 14 and not gay at all, period. I'm really happy to be part of this cast. I love Six Feet Apart Productions. I have a secret love for, it's not that secret, for Calvin Cato. Uh, I think he's just the best and hilarious. Uh, well, the show's gonna be amazing because Jessica is behind it and in front of it and all over it. So really, this is a Jessica sandwich, so get into it. Anything taken out of context from this recording will be prosecuted. <laughs> all right, that sounds perfect.